welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80s from for Extra. So today, guys, I'm gonna give you guys my total drama season 1023 review. So I'm gonna do a non-spoiler review, guys. I'll be doing a spoiler review later tonight, and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts about this season. And if you guys want more episodes like this, let me know in the comments below. I could do um I could, you know, do a ranking episode uh video, maybe I could do a ranking characters. If you guys want any of that, let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely do it if there's demand. So my overall thoughts this season. Actually, let me start off with saying this right now. This is the first season I've enjoyed of Total Drama since World's War. That is insane to say this. Because I believe World Tour, let me just do a quick Google check. When did World Tour come out? World Tour came out 2000 and, um, 2000 and 2010. We are now in the year 2020, well, 2024, but it released in 2024. It's been 13 years since I've genuinely enjoyed a total drama season. Because I did not like, I did not like Revenge of the Island. I did not like All Stars, and I certainly did not like Puck 2 either. And I know you guys are going to tell me in the comments, what about the Ronkis race, Harpon? Do we count that? No, because that's a spinoff. So if we're not including the spinoff, this is the first season I've enjoyed of total drama since... Um, World Tour. That is insane. That's insane. And by the way, guys, I did a season rankings one video. You guys can uh, comment in the description. I put the link to the uh, rankings video I did for the previous seven seasons. You guys can check it out. Obviously, I'll have to update that list for the two new seasons. And what makes the season so good is the characters. We finally have great characters. We have 16 characters, 8 guys, 8 girls, and it's a good balance. Part of the reason why I didn't like the Gen 2 and Gen 3 cast is because there was an imbalance. I believe Gen 2, we had like seven guys and six girls. And then um, and then obviously Gen 3, I believe we had um, 14 characters. And I think it was seven guys, seven girls. And I just didn't like most of the characters in those two seasons. I just didn't. And I felt like Gen 2, Gen 3 was really weak. This Gen, on the other hand, is almost like the original characters. And they have like some prototypes. For example, uh, Priya is very similar to like Sky and Zoe. Uh, for example, MK is very similar to Noah. A lot of the characters have like similar personalities to the main characters of the uh, original franchise to Gen 1, and that's what made it very strong. You know, and that's what I like about the season so much is that we actually had genuinely good characters. There were characters I was actually rooting for and supporting. There wasn't just characters I was just watching, you know. And, you know, that's kind of the thing that was happening to me in uh, Pocket to Island and All Stars and Revenge of Island. Like, I didn't care enough for these characters. These characters, I actually care a lot. And I think this cast was such a good cast. And in terms of, um, you know, that was great enough. Now, it gets me to my cons. One of the biggest issues I have with this season is that a lot of the eliminations were very, very predictable. A lot of the eliminations came down to whoever messed up in the challenge got eliminated, essentially. And I understand that it you kind of have to, you know, for a few episodes. But for majority of the eliminations to be like that is quite disappointing. Now, I did like the finalists, which I'm not going to spoil in this video. The finalists were amazing. I think the finalists they chose were the perfect finalists to make the season. And I think it was great in that sense. And then we look at the antagonists. I'm sorry, guys. This season's antagonists were very weak. I would say these season's antagonists are worse than... um the the classics, you know, like Heather, Alejandro, these antagonists, you know. I would say they're like two antagonists, you can maybe say. Um obviously I'm not gonna reveal who the two antagonists are because that's like very plot heavy. Um and I and I just think that for me personally, the antagonists in the large grammar schemes were more about themselves rather than other uh, rather than eliminations, which was really sad because part of the reasons why I like antagonists so much is they directly eliminated people. Both these antagonists, maybe you could argue, like, eliminate just one or two. They didn't eliminate that many. And that's a shame. That's a shame. Because I, I really would have liked to have seen them get more involved. Um, and, yeah, like I said, guys. And even though I did like the finals for this season, I will admit it was a very predictable. You could have maybe seen that from the season, from the first episode. Um, and, like I said, it it is a good season. I'm not saying it is a bad season. It's just that it's not as good as, like, you know, the classics. I know World Tour island action i would say um, but this is a good season though this is definitely the best season on um, since world tour not including the spinoffs that is 100 facts so like i said 
I'm overall satisfied with the season and I did enjoy the season. Um, it's just that I didn't enjoy as much as I probably wanted to. But it's not to say it was a bad season. Like I said, it is a good season. I still did enjoy. It's just that I didn't enjoy as much as I wanted to. So let me know in the guys' comments below, guys. And please keep this spoiler free, guys. Please keep this spoiler free. Um, um, obviously, I've already seen the season, but I don't want to spoil it for those that haven't seen it. You know, comment that on the spoiler video, which I'll be doing later tonight. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And let me know the guys in the comments below. Do you guys want to see me do a character rankings or an episode rankings? Maybe I'll do episode rankings. I'm not sure if I should do character rankings because I should probably see for the new reboot season two, which I'll be starting tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, like I said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Please want to like and subscribe and peace out.